Today on Robert's Guitar Dungeon, we're talking about six guitar players that could be considered modern day guitar heroes. I posted a video recently and one of the things that people kept commenting on about that video was that there are no current guitar heroes today to help not only drive guitar sales but also to inspire new players to want to learn to pick up the instrument. I decided that I would compile a list of modern day guitar players today that I feel could all be considered modern day guitar players and do an awful lot to inspire the guitar industry as a whole. Let's get to it. Number six, Mark Tremonti. Mark Tremonti has been a top endorser for PRS Guitars for a number of years now. He was voted Guitarist of the Year three consecutive years by Guitar World Magazine, and also in 2011 was voted the fourth greatest metal guitar player of all time by Total Guitar. Whether you appreciate his work with Creed, Alter Bridge, or his solo projects, there is no question that the boy is a great guitar player, and one that aspiring young guitar players strive to be like more and more every single day. PRS has even made it easier for some of these young players by coming out with an affordable version of the Mark Tremonti signature guitar in their, in their import SE line. Number five, Joe Bonamassa. Love him or hate him, there is no denying the fact that he is one of the most versatile guitar players in the world. Very well versed in, in blues and classic rock styles. Joe Bonamassa is one of the guys that seems to have a new piece of signature gear coming out about every year. As a top endorser of brands like Dunlop, Marshall, and especially Gibson, Joe Bonamassa's signature gear seems to be among some of the best-selling products on the market today. He sells out arenas all over the world, and he's also the owner of one of the very best well-known vintage guitar collections in the world, with a very strong emphasis on vintage burst Les Pauls. Number four, Sinister Gates. Kids love this guy. Whenever you think of Schecter's top endorsers, Sinister Gates is always the first guy that comes to mind. Young aspiring guitar players that are fans of Avenged Sevenfold always, always, always want to go buy a Schecter for their first guitar. Schecter Guitar Forums are always talking about this guy, and let's also make sure and give him credit for the, being the guy that has really helped to popularize the Sustaniac pickup. He looks cool, he talks cool, he dresses cool, he's got a fantastic stage presence, and let's also not forget the fact that he is a fantastic guitar player. Number three, Slash. With the signature top hat and sunglasses, the guy looks exactly the same as he did in 1987 when Guns N' Roses came out with their debut album, Appetite for Destruction. The argument can be made that he's even more popular now than he was back in Guns N' Roses' heyday. He's often being credited for being the guy who revitalized the popularity of the Les Paul and even Gibson guitars as a whole, but he's also a guy that Gibson seems to come out with a new version of his signature model about every other year. And Gibson aren't the only company that does this. Marshall has had several signature amps for him. He has several signature pedals with Dunlop and MXR. And of course, he's, of course he's also been a long time endorser of Ernie Ball Strings. Oh, and last but not least, let's not forget. He has also been a long time BC Rich guitar player and finally in recent years, they finally put his name on one of their guitars. It doesn't seem to matter what, what project Slash is involved in next, whatever it was equals dollar signs. He still inspires young players everywhere to want to get involved in music. Why? Because let's face it, the dude is just that cool. Number two, John Petrucci. As the driving force behind the band Dream Theater for nearly three decades, John Petrucci is a guy whose name just rolls off the tongue in guitar circles. With long brown hair, a cool goatee, and arms bigger than my head, John Petrucci just looks the part. For years, he's been a top endorser for brands like TC Electronic, Fractal Audio, Dunlop, and of course Mesa Boogie and Ernie Ball Music Man. John Petrucci is the guy that helped make Mesa Boogie the sound of the 2000s. Specifically the dual and triple rectifier models. And when you're thinking of top Mesa Boogie endorsees, John Petrucci is almost always the first guy to come to mind. Also, his endorsement with Music Man Guitars has become one of the longest standing endorsements in the guitar world today. The JP Signature line of guitars have become as synonymous with Music Man as the Les Paul has become with Gibson. Let's face it, how many of us often forget that the Les Paul was actually a signature guitar model? John Petrucci has achieved the same status. And anybody who has heard anything off of Dream Theater's album Images and Words 
we'll know why John Petrucci is considered one of the very best guitar players in the world today. Who wouldn't want to be like this guy? Honorable mentions, Eddie Van Halen and Zach Wilde. I'm including these guys as honorable mentions because they've both been around for decades. However, considering their longevity, these are two guys from the 70s and 80s who are both still relevant today. Both of these players have been around so long, they've now both each been able to establish their own guitar brands, both of which are flying off the shelves. In the case of Eddie Van Halen, his 5153 signature amplifier seems to be shaping up to be one of the most historic rock amps and could very well be considered the amplifier that gave us the sound of the 2010s. Let's face it, these are two of the greatest guitar players that have ever tread this planet and they still continue to be household names today. As a Zach Wilde fanboy myself, acquiring one of his signature Gibson Les Paul guitars has been one of the greatest achievements of my guitar collection. Number one, John Mayer. Young players still love this guy. Back in my Guitar Center days, kids would come in all the time, pick up strats, plug them into Fender amps, and play John Mayer riffs for hours. <clears throat> People buy his gear all the time simply because it's gear that John Mayer uses. Whether it be vintage gear that he's known to use or a signature gear, it's all popular simply because of John Mayer. He has not only become very popular in blues and rock circles, but the praise and worship guitar community really, really seem to respect John Mayer. He seems to inspire guitar players to like guitar gear that they otherwise wouldn't. Many guitar players in praise and worship circles simply do not like Jackson guitars. Maybe it's because they're often associated with heavy metal and guitar shredding. Who knows? However, when this picture started floating around the internet just a couple of months ago, many people in praise and worship circles responded by saying, well, maybe they're not so bad. He sold millions of records, won Grammys, and was even selected by the Grateful Dead to replace the late, legendary Jerry Garcia in the recent Grateful Dead and Friends reunion tour. Not only that, but at one stop on that tour in Indianapolis, as a matter of fact, about a mile from the location that this video is being filmed at, he was given the honor of being allowed to play Jerry Garcia's original Tiger guitar, which is now owned by Indianapolis Colts owner Jim Ursay. Last but not least, after years of being a top Fender endorser, he recently made the jump to Paul Reed Smith. While he certainly isn't the first artist to do this, he certainly seems to be the first one that I'm aware of that has convinced PRS Guitars to basically build him a Fender Strat. A signature guitar that was announced just a few months ago and has already made the rounds online and has a lot of people in guitar forums in utter shock. He attracts a lot of fans with his guitar playing, his songwriting, and his good looks. He seems to have matured an awful lot in the last few years and there doesn't seem to be nearly as much John Mayer hate going on as there once was. As a guy that hated him for years, I now even have a lot more respect for John Mayer than I once did. He has absolutely earned the right to be considered a guitar hero in today's world. This has been my list of the top six modern day guitar heroes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other suggestions about who would be considered a modern day guitar hero, please leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I upload new videos every Wednesday and Saturday morning. Any and all applicable links will be down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this video, most likely you're a musician. Most musicians were inspired by an event at some point in their lives to want to play music. However, what if that event still occurred, but you had no means of your own to acquire your own instrument? There are thousands of people in your own community that would love to get involved in music, but do not have the means to afford their own instrument. Please donate your broken or unwanted gear to my friends at Share the Music, where Share the Music will take those instruments, refurbish them, and give them to somebody just like us and help change their lives for the better.